Frey. Starting right now. Here's your host Alfredo Leon. Back out is indeed, friends. The New York Giants ended a disastrous 2017 season on a positive of Sunday as they defeated the Washington Redskins 18-10. Here is quarterback Eli Manning speaking about his name getting chanted after walking off the field. Yeah, no, it felt, felt good just to get the win, you know. Um, and, uh, you know, after, after a tough year and uh, a, lot of, lot of, a lot of tough games um, to, to get, get, get the win, and you know, with a uh, you know rough, rough situation, got a lot of new guys uh, playing today. Uh, receivers, uh, you know, been working with them for uh, a few weeks, but uh, to make some plays uh, wasn't the prettiest game we ever had. But uh, you know, to get this win, you know, feel good for you know for Coach Spags, for all the coaches. It's been it's not just been tough on players, and it's been you know it's just as tough on the coaches and, and fans and everybody. So um, you know, it might not you know mean a, a whole lot. When you look at it to get this, you know, get the third win, but uh, it, it does mean something to the players. The guys have been working hard. They've been competing. They've been giving great effort uh, all year, and it just uh, you know to to um, you know just get a get a win and feel good in the locker room and have some cheers and have some hugs and kind of end this tough year on a, on a good note is, is special. Manning just finished his 14th season with the team, and he spoke about the new covers and how they play. Yeah, I thought Hunter, you know, Hunter obviously uh, got a touchdown, you know, ran a great route, and got, got a touchdown right there, so uh, did, did, you know, made some nice plays uh, for us. Um, you know, Bundy, uh, I don't think we got him a catch, tried try to get to him a few times, so he's still a young guy, got some, you know, uh, some learning uh, to do, but, um, you know, I thought Travis, I thought, you know, uh, we you know, made some plays. Um, you know, we didn't do a whole lot in the second half, but our offensive line started firing off, you know, getting some, uh, I thought, played well. There, you know, there was some popping going on uh, up front, and so that was good to see. We, were run, we ran the ball, uh, you know, very well, starting with the second play on a, on a huge, uh, huge run by Orleans. He was also asked after he waved to the crowd if, if it was an acknowledgment. No, you know, I always do that after fans. My family was up there, so usually, you know, waving at them and wave at the, you know, the crowds that were, that were here today that, uh, you know, we're calling a name or chanting that, you know, we're here supporting us. Uh, so I appreciate, you always appreciate the fans and, and especially the fans uh, in a tough year and, and this situation, cold, you know, cold and, and not playing for much and coming for this game and to be cheering the way they did and, and hanging in there. I uh, appreciate them. He also spoke about if he heard the fans even before the ending. Yeah, I did. I did. I heard, I heard them. And again, I appreciate, uh, appreciate all the fans, uh, their support this whole year. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's been overwhelming, and uh, you know, for them to uh, support me and support the team uh, the way they have, it's been 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 special. Manny spoke about how difficult this year was. No, it's been yeah. I mean, it's probably been my toughest year of football. Um, I, I would say just with uh, you know, with, obviously with the losses, with the injuries, with the um, you know, uh, benching and coming back and uncertainty and, and everything going on. But really, you know, it's, you know, uh, the losses more than anything probably just uh, it, it's tough. It's tough to. Uh, prepare every week and to put everything, uh, all, all the effort into it, and not get the outcomes that you want. And you know, especially some some heartbreakers that we lost early on the season, and then we kind of start lo losing some of our, our personnel. So it's been it's been tough, and um, but hopefully you know we learn from it and, and, and grow from it. He also mentioned if he wanted to remain a giant and a starting quarterback, his new GM Dave Gettleman thinks so. Yes, no, hundred hundred percent. I don't I don't want to go play football any, anywhere else. This is this is where. Uh, where I want to play, you know, this is this is you know like my family and New York Giants, and and so hopefully, uh, hopefully they feel the same way, and, and we can make that work out. He had one of the worst games of his career against the Redskins, as the Giants enjoyed a rare 2017 win. He only completed 10 of 28 passes for 132 yards. It had been months since he threw to targets like Odell Beckham Jr. and Brandon Marshall. And his two leading receivers this season, who were Sterling Shepard and rookie Evan Engram were out because of injuries. Their most experienced active receiver in Roger Lewis Jr. did not play. Three wideouts, which were Hunter Sharp, Travis Rudolph, and Michael Bundy, all made their NFL starting debuts. Bundy was playing in his first regular season game. Here is more from Manning speaking of on the new receivers and more. Yeah, you know, it's been, uh, you know, it's just, yeah, it's, it's tough. You know, it's tough. Uh, you kind of, you know, that's what you, you spend all off season, <clears throat> all off season, all summer, uh, training camps, you know, working on your timing, working on your rhythm, working on certain routes, and then uh, you know all the guys that you kind of 
you know work those those that many hours with or um, you know now you know you're throwing some routes to guys you haven't thrown yet you know maybe you threw uh, you know a certain route in practice to Bundy now you got uh, Hunter running it in the game and and so um, you know so that's just kind of uh, it's a, you know uh, hopefully you, you hope they run it you know, the way you think they are but there's always a little hesitation a little you know, kind of hold it an extra second just to make sure they're going to be in the right spot and um, you know so it's it's hard to be uh, in rhythm and on time with a lot of things but you know I thought they hung in there and did, they did a good job they knew knew their assignments and uh, were able to make a couple plays for us. Sharp made one of the biggest catches as he made a 60 yard touchdown grab in the first quarter. The Giants earned their first victory on the Steve Spagnolo with a relentless running attack and an incredible defense. They ran for a total of 260 yards, which was their highest total since 2008. Orleans Darkwa led the way with 154 yards, which included a 75-yard score on the game's second play. Rookie Wayne Galvin added 89 yards on 15 carries. Darkwa and Galvin combined to average 7 yards a carry. The Giants had to run as the conditions were not great as far as throwing is concerned. The temperature was 16 degrees with 16 mile per hour winds, and that was a wind chill of 1 degree. This is football weather, Darko said. When it gets cold, they're relying on the run like most teams do. So there was definitely more emphasis on going into it this week. We had a good week of practice going into it and a great game plan to execute. The Giants nominated the Redskins as Washington was limited to 197 total yards 10 first downs, and one third down conversion. Linebacker Kelvin Shepard was intercepted Kirk Cousins twice, and quarterback Ross Cockrell picked off another. Cousins was also sacked three times. At the end of the day, they enjoyed what the G-Men hadn't enjoyed all year, which was a win. I congratulated all the people involved, Spagnuolo said. So happy. I appreciate them tremendously. I tried to convey that to everybody in there, and it feels, just feels really good. We've been chasing the feeling of being in a locker room on a Sunday or an NFL with a locker room. It feels special. All the work you put into it, and it's a week-by-week -week thing. But the work you put in during the week is demanding. Our players, our coaches, they, grew, they go through a lot. Our football staff, and it's rewarding prior to that, had been great, but this feels good. And I think the organization can carry this into the next season. Spagnuolo was also on the cold field as he wanted to hug Manning. I did ask the camera guy, can you get a picture when I hug Eli, Spagnuolo said. Because, you know, it's a memory. It's a memory. We've been through a lot and not more than him with this season. But he never changed. I value that in people that can say that balance through ups and downs. He's had the highest of highs. This one was certainly very, very low. But he's a tremendous competitor, and I appreciate him greatly. Everyone else on the Giants as well. As this was a, a great way to end the season, especially how rough it was. I'm glad it was finally over. And what a way to end it with a positive note by winning the game against the Redskins. Beating one of your rivals. Getting uh, some more zeros. Taken off by winning in the conference and winning in the division. As that took all the way till week 17 to happen. At least they're able to get a, a win. Get some more confidence going to the offseason. And hopefully get some nice pieces there. As they try to also get some new coaches as well. Get their new head coach. As even John Maris said, they're not going to plan to make any more changes. But they're going to try to get a new coach. They've got yeah, permission to interview Jim Schwartz, interview also Matt Patricia, and also Jasper Daniels of the Patriots, the Wigwood Patriots, as they have a bye week for the playoffs. So do the Philadelphia Eagles. And also they're going to try to get Steve Spagnuolo in there as well, as he deserves to get at least a shot because it's proper etiquette to do that. But still... What a great way to end the season, especially how rough it is. Well, the injuries sold out Beckham Jr. and Brandon Marshall and a lot of key guys on offense, especially guys like Brandon, uh, Ender, like Evan Edgrub and guys like that, even Sterling Shepard that didn't play because of injury. And it was just a rough year for injuries on the Giants as they had, I think they had the most injuries, most guys that I are at 20, and even lost a couple guys there in the game as well as the Redskins. But still, they were to bounce back from a tough season. Well, uh, from a tough season, like it ended well, and that's all they can ask for. Is they're trying to get more better play, play players for the team coming next year. They got to address that in the draft, especially with their offensive line. They have to address that, and that's the reason why they had such a bad year. And one of the reasons, besides the injuries, and that's why Jerry Reese and Ben McAdoo got fired because of that. And that made sense for them to get those guys fired out of there because they didn't deserve to be there anymore, especially with how bad the season was going at the team. And 
They definitely need to address their offensive line, try to get some more weapons for Eli, especially to try to help out Beckham and Marshall and Engram and even Shepard. Try to get that. But offensive line is the most important. And, of course, they need a quarterback because Eli just turned 37. And they need to get a guy that could be there for the future of the Giants. As they don't, I don't think that guy is on the roster right now. I don't think Davis Webb is that type of guy that could be a future quarterback of the Giants. He's probably more of a backup right now. But still, they need to address that. they got a lot of things to address. Obviously, the offensive line. But they don't have to make that many more changes. If they can address their offensive line and, of course, move the quarterback for Eli, well, at least for next year they're going to have Eli quarterback, they could have a chance to possibly go win a Super Bowl. But I don't know about that. But we'll see how they do with their new head coach, who it'll be. Will it be Spagnolo? Probably not. Will it be outside the organization? Probably. We'll see who they get. And it should be interesting to see who they get because this coach could help their quarterback and help the guys try to get to the promised land. That's the goal of the NA team to win a Super Bowl, especially with the Giants, who had thought they had a chance to do it this year. Unfortunately, it wound up being a disaster this year, their worst season in franchise history, unfortunately, as they had 13 losses, something no Giant team I'd ever had, as this was probably their worst season and since the 70s, but definitely their worst of all time. And this is just a tough year for the Giants and Eli, especially with the benching and, and what happened with that. That's what that's another reason why McAdoo and Reese got fired, as that was probably more of their decision, as John Barrett wanted Eli, but it's just circumstantial. Circumstances didn't go their way. Didn't go his way. And unfortunately, that's what happened. You never want anybody to get fired, but it, was, it had to happen, especially with the rough year of the Giants. And they could stick around next year. It just wouldn't have worked. And so that's what happened there. And unfortunately, what happened with Eli, that his second star streak ended because of a stupid benching and everything like that. But it is what it is. And hopefully they could end up addressing their issues with the offensive line. And it should be interesting to see what happens as hopefully they bounce back next year. But we'll see how they do in the draft. they got to get an offensive line, but obviously a quarterback because Eli's getting older. And they have to address those things. If they address those things, they should be fine. And we'll see what happens with that. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Till next time, guys. Peace.